Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Alright, okay. Continuation with the work on the 9F. We've got the motion motor brackets here. Got spare parts, four screws, and I think some bearing pieces for the motor. Let's have a look here. Looks alright. That looks alright. Right. So this is a 9F by Hornby. My mission is is to get the motor brackets out of the motor. I'll get the motor brackets in, and uh, hopefully we'll be peachy from there. Earlier today, I was actually working on grinding down some of the wheels on a 040 shunting engine, diesel in particular, that was Hornby, and I had to stop with that because the flange on the wheel decided to disintegrate, which, you know, it's a very, very good thing when your flange literally just disintegrates right in front of you. Look at that. Right, okay, they can sit there. I like how it actually comes with a uh, decoder socket though. Although, how you'd fit one in, I have no idea when you don't really have much clearance in one of these. like covering the motor? Perhaps. That doesn't fit inside there, so it's not, not it. Um, okay, so this obviously goes on top of here. seem to be any uh, zinc pest, which is a good thing. You always got to watch out for that, because that's what the problem was with the last brackets that are in this thing. They had down bad zinc pest, or die cast pest, or whatever you want to call it, or zinc rot. It's a nasty, nasty thing that happens to metal when there's impurities in it. Normally it only happens when you have metal. Where did that fucking go? Seriously, where the fuck did that go? Oh, there it is. The thing is I put a carpet down on the floor. Well, not a carpet, a uh, towel. I recommend putting a towel down so when you actually lose something, a bright surface, you can see the screws, they go off and easily catches it because I've got a uh, tile floor. So hopefully once I put these in, because I've got two big fat hands. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll get this out. And we'll put that back in there.
Okay, well, that was fairly bloody simple. <laughs> I'm like with before. You know, whilst I'm here, I may as well vent about Hornby from what I've experienced. Is the fact that there's not an awful lot of symmetry with a lot of their designs, and that they're not very easy, and that they're usually made for collectors. Which really does bother me, because the only thing that isn't for collectors is the 040 range, and even then, in Australia it costs for even the Christmas train set that was being released by Hornby recently, this is 2022 almost. It's Christmas, it's still with the year 2021. But even the train set for Hornby costs ludicrous amounts of money. It's mostly down to shipping, I know, but still. Another problem is, is that it's not necessarily straightforward an awful lot of this stuff. That's the isolator. Alright. Wait a minute, where's the third screw gone? Should be, oh no, there it is. Oh, bugger, I forgot to put the bloody spring in. I was thinking about cleaning all of the wheels on all of my engines as well because of the uh, because of the um, fact that I nearly just well I did destroy the bloody flange on one of those that low four o shunter. It's really annoying because I liked that diesel engine as well. Oh uh, well, you can't win them all, can you? This tune of sixty dollars, and I expect it to be able to be used. Uh, you were going to need this proper Hornby cleaner. It's meant for the mold. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. Bloody scam. Quack. Quack looking motherfucker. This is actually a Dapol kit tender, by the way. Just thought people would like to know. Right, 
All right, let's go test it. At least it's a decent runner. I mean, hell, uh, funnily enough, the spare parts, the spare, the spare uh, motor brackets in shipping cost me a shitload more than it should have. Because I got it directly from Hornby, which was like something to the tune of nearly $110. And that was plus with the shipping. I'll add it up. People can get a good look at it. There you go. Back in a second. So I plan on doing some cleaning up efforts. So I was planning on doing an awful lot today, and because of that mishap, I'm going to pack up and call it. I might turn the power off. That'd be a smart move now, wouldn't it? Hornby, everybody. The company from hell for model railroaders who uh, obviously call themselves model railroaders, but really they're collectors. And uh, Hornby knows this if you've seen their Hornby and Model Railway World. And uh, probably thinking, how much did you buy the uh, 9F for? I think I got it for a uh, 50. Bucks, and that was including the shipping, you know, the postage price. And, uh, yeah. That's not really it. Pick up this mat. This has the metal shavings on it. Mat, I say. Towel. It's annoying because re yesterday I was actually cleaning. I'm pretty certain I would have uploaded the video by now, but this is actually a day after, so...
for people are probably thinking, Owen, oh, why haven't you uploaded? Mr. Model Railways, man, why haven't you uploaded? And the problem there is that I have two pet chooks at home, and both of them had to dust my infestation, and their pan was infested. Also, it's hot today. Right, well, not much else to do.